I'm Maria, and today I'm going to help you figure out how to get your featured image to show up on your WordPress site. Is your featured image not showing in your WordPress site? In this video, I will show you why it's not showing up and how to fix it. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. So let's get started. You've noticed something wrong with one or all of your featured images. Where do you go from here? Let's start with the simplest of solutions, making sure you're uploading your featured images properly. It may sound silly to some, but many WordPress beginners don't know how to upload a featured image in the first place. But that's fine, we all have to start learning sometime. To begin, go to your WordPress dashboard, go to posts and then add new to create a new blog post. You can also do this with pages or click on the all posts option if you're interested in adding a featured image to a previously generated post. Insert any content you want for the blog post. Fill in the title, write paragraphs, and upload images to the article. However, keep in mind that an image uploaded to your blog post's content area doesn't have anything to do with the featured image, even if it's the first photo you upload to that article there's a completely different section that handles the featured image. To find and upload a featured image, move your attention to the post settings panel on the right hand side. This lists various settings for the entire post and can also reveal block specific settings if you have a WordPress Gutenberg block currently selected. Make sure the post tab is selected, then scroll down through the settings. The featured image settings are towards the bottom. Click on the featured image panel to open its settings. Here, you'll see a button to set featured image. Clicking on that brings you directly to the WordPress media library. However, we usually recommend clicking the select image button as that provides a few extra choices for deciding on a source for the featured image. Three choices appear when uploading an image through a Kinsta hosted website. Media library, your WordPress media collection, allowing you to upload images to your server, edit those photos and store them for later use or to place them in your posts and pages right now. Google photos, a cloud library for your own personal photos. You must log in and link to Google photos to upload from there to WordPress. Pexels free photos, a free collection of professional photos you can search through and include on your website. Occasionally, you need to provide image attribution. This is provided when you upload a Pexels photo on WordPress. Choose one based on whether or not you have your own photos and where they're stored. Going with the media library reveals whatever images you've already uploaded to WordPress. You have the option to choose one and click the set featured image button. As an alternative, the media library also has a tab to upload files, where you select from the files on your computer and upload them to your WordPress media library. The Pexels collection isn't much different from your media library, except you have the luxury of finding beautiful photos without having to take them yourself. You can search for specific keywords and set them as your featured images. Again, the images from Pexels are free, but you must give a linked credit to the photographer, which is automatically inserted when using Pexels through WordPress. A thumbnail of the image you go with shows up under the featured image panel in your post settings. This means that as long as you click save draft or publish, the image remains active on that post until you remove it. Some other buttons that appear include the select image, replace image, and remove featured image. All of them allow you to adjust or get rid of the current featured image. To move forward and see the featured image in action, click the publish button. The preview button also does the trick for testing a featured image, but the public can't see it until you hit publish. Depending on your theme settings and various other factors, like certain plugins that change image settings, the featured image should appear first in your published blog post. As you can see, the image we inserted into the post content is shown second since the featured image gets prioritized. Another way to see your featured image is to create recent post galleries or feeds to your blog, usually elsewhere on your website. For instance, we added a recent posts feed on the homepage of our test site. The featured images for all blog posts in the feed appear as smaller thumbnails, providing a more visual experience for those looking for content. 
You figured out how to upload a featured image and completed your post content. The only thing to do next is to review and publish the post. Unfortunately, you discover that the featured image doesn't look quite as nice as you would have hoped. Maybe you encounter one of the following. The featured image is too small or too large. It's stretched out or blurry. The thumbnail images aren't showing up as the right sizes. Luckily, WordPress already includes a wide range of photo editing tools for you to ensure the featured image looks professional. It's also prudent to understand what types of photos work well as featured images, seeing how it may be the original photos causing the issues to begin with. It's a good practice to know which photos look good on WordPress. Not only that, but it's essential to realize that featured images display differently when compared to a regular photo uploaded to a post or page. Figuring out the optimal dimensions before uploading the images allows you to minimize instances where the featured image gets stretched out or cropped strangely. Though, there's no recommended size for a WordPress featured image. We suggest starting with 1200 by 628 pixels. That means you can't simply take any photo and expect it to look great as a featured image. You're better off editing a photo to meet those suggested dimensions before uploading it to WordPress. You may discover that your theme does well with slightly wider or shorter featured images. Here are some general rules to follow before uploading your featured images. Stick with landscape sizes over portrait photos. Featured images look much better when the width is longer than the height often around a two to one ratio. Upload multiple photo sizes on a test post and mark down the dimensions of each one. This should get you closer to the optimal featured image size for your theme. Avoid images that are way too large or small. Larger images get compressed and lose quality, while smaller images get stretched out and end up looking terribly blurred. Think about using the built-in image editing tools in WordPress for featured images that are already uploaded but could use some changes. Another tactic for finding and setting the perfect featured image size is to visit the media section of your WordPress dashboard. Go to settings and then media. These are the general media settings for your entire WordPress website. The set dimensions dictate the maximum dimensions you'll see on your website for the given image sizes. Three image sizes often get configured on WordPress. Thumbnail, medium, and large. The thumbnail size is the featured image shown in other parts of your website outside of the post itself. For instance, on a list of recent posts or a blog feed on your homepage, you have the option to crop the featured image thumbnail to the exact dimensions. As an alternative, it's often a better idea to leave the crop thumbnail box unchecked, so the thumbnail dimensions are used as more of a guideline. This way, the thumbnails remain proportional and you don't see any unexpected cropping effects. The large size often dictates the featured image dimensions when shown at the top of the poster page. Sometimes other settings override this, but it's not a bad idea to mark down the dimensions to ensure you at least know the optimal width for a featured image. The max height shouldn't matter as much since your featured images shouldn't be that tall. If you've uploaded your posts or pages featured image correctly and it still doesn't appear, then there can be several reasons, though it varies depending on your WordPress site's configuration, theme, and plugins. Here are some common reasons that lead to issues with featured images in the first place. Getting an HTTP error when trying to upload an image, which could mean problems with the upload limit or image formats. Search engines may block featured images that contain suspicious coding or malware. Permissions are blocked for your user type to access that page required to upload or see a featured image. Your theme or a plugin has an error or is causing a conflict with your featured images working. The theme doesn't allow for featured images or you have to turn them on through the theme settings. You may be having trouble uploading the featured image the right way. You may find that the theme coding doesn't support a featured image. A lazy loading plugin may be preventing the featured image from showing up or loading quickly. The featured image may not be in the right place inside the page or post template. Your dashboard settings could have the featured image fields completely turned off. A few errors are more common than others when uploading images to the media library in WordPress. Luckily, as WordPress has evolved, the errors have become a little less ambiguous, making it somewhat easier to determine their cause. However, you still may see a vague error as the following HTTP error message. This usually means that there's something wrong with the image itself, 
or you need to allow larger uploads to your WordPress site. It's more common to see something with specifics, like a message that tells you an image or video exceeds the maximum upload size for the site. Regardless, all of these errors are frustrating and confusing for users. Even if they tell you that the image is too big, how do you move on from there? In general, the following solutions tend to help with error codes telling you that an image is either too large or not currently supported for uploading. Your hosting provider often sets the WordPress memory limitations. You can reach out to your current hosting provider and ask them to expand the PHP limit. If allowed, you can also change the PHP memory limit on your own by editing your site's wp-config PHP file. In some cases, you will have to upgrade to a bigger hosting plan that offers more resources for your site. Uploading massive files to your WordPress site causes performance issues and could put too much of a load on your hosting servers. Hence, many hosts in WordPress itself define a maximum upload file size. Besides, any image you use on your site, including featured images, shouldn't be that large to begin with. You can still maintain the quality of an image after compression, cropping, or resizing. As long as you're not making the image too small, you should still be able to offer a beautiful featured image. Therefore, we recommend using tools for cropping, compressing, and resizing before opting to increase your PHP memory limit. Some non-WordPress image editing tools you can use are GIMP, Photoshop Express, and Paint.net. Editing inside WordPress is also an option, but that doesn't typically resolve to get the WordPress image to begin with. If you're going with this route, we recommend an image compression plugin that automatically shrinks and optimizes all images uploaded to WordPress, such as Optimal or Imagify. This way, you're not limiting your site's resources with too many large photos. Unfortunately, an image with malware or a virus is already compromised. The good news is that WordPress blocking an image because of that reason means that WordPress has done its job. Although there are limited simple solutions to remove suspicious coding, your best bet is to stick with photos you either purchase legally or take your own photos instead of pulling directly from Google, which is technically illegal anyway, or finding images from sketchy websites. We also recommend you host your site with a company that takes malware seriously and provides a security guarantee. WordPress permissions decide who can read, write, or edit website files. On the other hand, User roles dictate which areas of the WordPress dashboard and the front end website are accessible to certain people. It's possible that your current user role doesn't allow you to upload or view featured images. Another concern is that a certain page or post in your WordPress files isn't accessible because of user permissions. The key to fixing this issue is ensuring your user roles and permissions are all set properly. Themes and plugins are some of the more common reasons featured images fail or get blocked. Not all themes have the same featured image settings. Sometimes featured images for pages are completely blocked. Other times, you may notice that a theme presents a featured image in a different spot than what's expected. Also, you may have to configure a specific theme setting so that featured images are populating for all posts. Unfortunately, we can't walk you through the solutions to these issues as it requires you to either look into the theme settings or contact the theme developer. However, plugin conflicts are a different story. Plugins, although rather useful for building a WordPress website, occasionally have questionable coding or they simply aren't updated, leading to all sorts of conflicts. This isn't a rule, but it's also common to see issues with featured images when some plugins have access to your media library or alter all images functionality. Regardless, the best course of action is to follow these steps. One, update all the plugins installed on your website. Two, check to see if you can now upload and see your featured images. Number three, if the problem is solved, then it was an error stemming from an outdated plugin. Four, if the problem isn't fixed, proceed to deactivate all plugins. Five, again, check to see if the featured images are showing up after all plugins are deactivated. If not, reactivate the plugins and move on to a different cause of the problem. Six, if the featured images now work, one of your plugins was the issue. Seven, Reactivate each plugin one by one. After each reinstallation, you should check to see if the featured images are still functioning and showing up properly. Eight, 
If the featured image fails, you know which plugin is causing the problem. 9. Uninstall that plugin and look for an alternative. An interesting thing about featured images is that some WordPress themes may not support them. This is due to a wide variety of reasons. The theme is not coded well, or the developer has removed the default featured image functionality on purpose, mainly because they have other settings to control the featured image. We recommend checking your theme support for featured images. You can do this by simply asking the theme developer, reading the documentation, or going to the function's PHP file. The following block of code is what you can insert or look for in the function's PHP file. Lazy loading serves as one of the many methods used for optimizing images to improve site performance. It does this by halting the loading of images on a page until they come into view on the screen. For instance, the last image in a long article doesn't necessarily have to load until the user scrolls down to the bottom of the page and gets to that image. However, lazy loading often causes problems with featured images since some lazy loading plugins treat featured images as regular images. Such plugins may not be the best solution if they block the featured image from being shown on the latest posts list or if they make the featured image load slowly. The featured image should load immediately for optimal user experience. Jetpack, among other plugins, offers lazy loading functionality as an add-on. Therefore, you have to check each plugin to see if they have the feature enabled on your site. After you've located the potential culprit, turn off lazy loading, clear your site cache, and check if that resolves any issues you may have had with your featured images. Each WordPress page and post template specifies a featured image's location. A theme or plugin usually defines it. You may want to move the featured image to another location, like below the first bit of content or above a byline with the author's name. To adjust the location of a featured image, go to the page or post template being used. Search for this bit of code in the file. This code snippet is a reference to your featured image. Post thumbnails are what featured images used to be called in WordPress from its early days. It tells WordPress to display the featured image in the template's exact location. The post thumbnail function may lie before the page title or after the content. That depends on your page and theme configuration. To change the featured image's location, copy this piece of code and paste it somewhere else in the page or post template. Giving it a new position within the template will also tell WordPress that it should render somewhere else on the front end. As always, we recommend backing up your WordPress site before making edits to the code. It's also a good idea to make adjustments to child themes instead of the core WordPress files. One of the more frustrating problems with WordPress featured images not showing up involves the dashboard settings. This is a frustrating one because it's a simple setting in the dashboard that tells WordPress to either show the featured image section or not. The first problem arises when you can't see the featured image thumbnails in your list of pages or posts. You can go to Post and then All Posts to review your list of articles. A column called Featured Image is supposed to appear after the post date. This column reveals the thumbnail version of that featured post to give you a quick idea of what will appear on the front end of your site. But what if those thumbnail images are nowhere to be found? This means that you've turned off a setting on your dashboard to reveal the featured images column. To fix the situation, find and click on the Screen Options tab in the dashboard's upper right-hand corner. You have to be on the Posts or Pages panel for the right Screen Options panel to appear. The Screen Options section has a long list of fields to check off and sets what you want in your WordPress dashboard. For instance, you could add or remove items like tags, categories, and the author. Here, we want to make sure the checkbox for the featured image is checked. The featured image column should now appear in your list of posts or pages. Another screen options dilemma comes into play when you do not see the actual field to upload and insert a featured image. This field is available on all WordPress posts and pages by going to the post settings panel on the right side of the article or page. If you find that it's missing, follow the next steps to activate it. Find and select the triple dot icon in the far right corner of the dashboard. Scroll down the list of settings to locate the Preferences option. Click on Preferences to reveal a new pop-up window. The Preferences module includes a wide range of options for a document. Scroll down to the section called Document Settings. Under there, you'll find a field called Featured Image. 
Make sure that's checked off to reveal the featured image option in your posts and pages. Alternatively, you may find yourself in the older version of the WordPress editor. This is still common for many pages. Or you may have rolled back the Gutenberg editor to use the old editor instead. If either is the case, open the page you're posting question and look for the featured image block towards the page's right side. If it's not there, click the Screen Options tab and mark the Featured Image checkbox to reveal it in the editor. Another way to use featured images is by listing a feed of your blog post on your site's homepage or any other page. But what if the featured images aren't showing on the blog page? It's not uncommon for brands to share a list of the most recent posts, yet a gallery or feed with just links may not attract as much attention. WordPress offers several ways to list your blog posts elsewhere on a website, yet sometimes you have to configure the right settings to ensure they show up properly. Showing a gallery or list of your recent blog posts is done by adding a Gutenberg block element to the page designated on the WordPress homepage. This means you must make a page and assign it as the homepage in the WordPress reading settings. Make sure the area that says your homepage displays is set to a static page. This shows that you'd like to have a customizable page with the ability to add and remove block elements through page builders like Gutenberg. It's the opposite of only showing a list of your latest posts. Click the homepage dropdown field to reveal the list of pages you currently have active on your website. In this tutorial, we have a page called Homepage. Yours may have a different name depending on what you've named it. Now it's time to look at the content within that page to ensure that the featured images show up the way they should. To add content to your homepage and to adjust the settings for the blog feed on that page, go to Pages and then All Pages in the dashboard. Scroll through the list of pages to locate the one you assigned as the homepage. It should have a front page label next to it. Again, in this tutorial, we name the page homepage, but you may have something different. Click on the page specified as the front page. You may already have the latest posts block activated on your homepage. But if not, you can find it by searching in the Gutenberg block library. The block is called Latest Posts. All you have to do is click on the icon to insert it somewhere on the homepage. After that, feel free to drag it up or down on the homepage so that it's located in the proper position. Getting back to the featured images, it's not set by default to show featured images from blog posts when you put the Latest Posts block into a page. You may see a simple list of links along with descriptions from those posts. To add the featured images, click on the latest posts block. This selects the entire block and reveals settings for that block in the right side panel. Make sure it's on the block settings tab. You may have to switch it from page to block. Scroll down on the block settings tab to view the options available. The first few settings don't have anything to do with the featured image, but they can affect how the posts show up in the block and make your featured images look strange. We recommend experimenting with the content settings, like showing post content, display author name, or display post date. All of these come into play when highlighting your recent posts and ensuring they look presentable while also displaying your featured images. The next part is the most important element since it activates the featured images in the latest posts block. Find the section called Featured Image Settings. Here, enable the Display Featured Image option. This turns on the featured images for all the latest posts being pulled. If a featured image isn't assigned to a post, it will show a blank space in its block instead. What's more, several settings are now available to make the featured images look professional. This is particularly important if you're highlighting your recent posts on the homepage. For instance, the image size field tells your website how large to make those featured images in the Lister gallery. If you switch it to the thumbnail option, those images shrink slightly and usually become perfect squares. Switching it to a larger medium adjusts the sizing of all featured images in the block and adds more of a landscape view, depending on your featured image's dimensions. We also recommend looking at the image dimensions. This setting controls the sizing of all featured images shown in the latest post block. You can type in custom width and height or decide on a percentage so that the tool automatically changes the size of all featured images based on the percentage given. For instance, you could cut down each featured image to 25% of its original size. 
There's also an image alignment setting to indicate if the images should align to the right, center, or left. One of the last areas to consider for the featured image section in the latest posts block is the number of items you show in the block and how many columns make up the block. Test out the fields for the number of items and columns to ensure your featured images are both presentable and appealing when they get published on the homepage. Once everything is configured, hit the publish button. Your latest posts should appear wherever you place the block on your homepage. Besides, the featured images on each post should be shown above the post title and link. A big part of making sure featured images look right is to understand the best practices before uploading them to your WordPress site. You can troubleshoot a featured image not showing up or edit each featured image manually. The downside of setting a default featured image is that there's a chance you end up with several featured images that aren't relevant to the post. The whole point of a featured image is to serve as a visual introduction to the article, much like a title and the first paragraph of an article provides previews to the reader of what they can expect to read. Relevance also comes into play when you manually insert an image for each featured image in an article. It's easy to grab a quick image that relates to the article just to save time. Yet, we should all take our time when deciding on a featured image, seeing as how it's the book cover on the post that'll get people to pick it up and read. One way to get into some serious trouble with your images is by using photos and graphics you randomly find online. This could lead to a photo owner reaching out and asking you to remove many of your featured images, or worse, threatening legal action. As a good rule of thumb, if you didn't take the photo yourself or pay for rights, you might not be able to use it. There are exceptions to this rule. The only time you'll find that it's okay to share an image on your website for free is when you pull from a website like Pexels or Unsplash. Yet even with those websites, you're usually asked to provide attribution for all photos which is tough as featured images often don't allow captions. Follow these rules to ensure your featured images are legal. Take a photo with your own camera. That's a surefire way to eliminating legal problems. Look at photo websites with Creative Commons licensing. These include options like Unsplash and Pexels. Since WordPress featured images usually block captions, state the attribution for the featured image somewhere in your article. Pay for photos on sites like Shutterstock and iStock Photo. Make your own graphics with free design tools like Canva or Adobe Spark. If you find a photo that you really love, reach out to the photographer or artist and ask if you can use their work on your website for free, a fee, or with attribution. Make sure to get this agreement in writing. Email works too. It's one thing to ensure all featured images are relevant to the posts they're attached to. However, you also want to stick to a consistent theme. This helps speed up your featured image creation process while also helping your brand. A featured image does not differ from other photos on your website. It's getting placed on a digital medium where the photo's resolution doesn't necessarily have to be print-worthy to look good. Overall, photos on your website take up a significant amount of server space, potentially slowing down your site loading times. However, you also want to use photos that actually look good, so you should still shoot for high resolution photos as much as possible. When seeking out a featured image, always consider starting with a larger high resolution photo. That way, you can scale it down for a digital interface while still maintaining much of its resolution. Scaling a photo up is a big no-no, yet leaving your larger, high resolution photos in their original formats will surely cause loading problems. Considering you should be uploading high resolution images as featured images, it makes sense to automate optimization. After all, it's difficult to shrink, resize, and crop every image manually you plan to upload. An image optimization plugin does much of the work for you, ensuring that your featured images actually show up and don't slow down your website. Overall, it's best to opt for a plugin that optimizes your images on a third-party server. It'll avoid causing problems with your own server. We recommend solutions like WP Rocket or Imageify. Another element of image optimization involves how those images will show up in the search engines. They're vital to help your post or page move up the rankings. Every hosted image, including featured images, has metadata crawled by the search engines to figure out what your post or page is all about. The most important piece of image metadata is alt text which can be found by opening your featured image in the media library. 
Regardless of whether setting a proper alt text for images helps with SEO, you should do it anyway for accessibility reasons. Many blind people are using the internet through screen readers. Make your site accessible to them. You need to ensure that your hosting provider either provides the tools needed to render featured images or find a plugin that activates the open graph protocol. The featured image should quickly appear whenever someone wants to share one of your posts or pages on a social network. Otherwise, you run the risk of someone deciding not to share the post at all, or your branding looks unprofessional when users do share any of your site's links. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200% and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.